Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Polio Jr. And uh, in today's video, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, the most lucrative, lucrative way in my experience uh, as far as making money um, as a driver. Tons of apps out there, tons of, pro you know, tons of companies out there that uh, are delivery services now. And um, <clears throat> I started out just using Amazon Flex and I would always try and stay ahead of the game and have my shifts ahead of time. And I noticed in doing that, that obviously I wasn't grabbing any surge prices, uh, which is, which could be a big, big difference in how much you're getting paid. So you could grab uh, a 72, typically a four hour shift to $72. You can grab for well over a hundred dollars if you wait long enough. So that's the, um, that's one of the nice benefits is now I'm not trying to grab things. I'm not trying to grab blocks that far ahead of time, you know, a day before, two days before, you know, when the blocks are released. <clears throat> but what I found is using uh, Amazon Flex in conjunction with Lyft is actually a pretty decent money maker. Uh, and this is just my very simple method of, um, of making of using those two together to make the most amount of money possible. So if you live closer to a pickup station for Amazon Flex, then this is gonna be a lot easier for you. If you live further away, like I do, um, 30 miles away from my pickup station, it is what it is, um, is when you start out in the morning, uh, you know, typically you see the 12, uh, 1230 shifts and so forth, um, are the, are the big ones and if you can wait as long as possible before those shifts um, you'll see them start to surge because people seem to be forfeiting those blocks a lot more just just all around just in general and this is this includes the weekend the weekends can be a little bit more difficult because there are uh, people who work full-time jobs and then do Amazon Flex on the side on the weekends so that's when there's a lot of people on. But uh, during the week, it's a lot easier, but you can still do it on the weekend. Um, so this is as simple as I can put it. You get up in the morning. You don't have, you don't have anything planned whatsoever. And depending on how far you are from the station, or even if you just want to get close to the pickup station, uh, just start hitting, uh, you know, uh, looking for offers and you'll start to see that people are forfeiting blocks it's getting closer to that time where deliveries have to be delivered by five o'clock so they will start to surge the prices if no if there um, if there isn't anybody grabbing uh, the blocks so you can you can see seventy two dollar blocks go to well over a hundred dollars uh, so you, you first go in you do that and grab the grab your first shift for Amazon, and you could typically get done a four-hour block in uh, in two hours or so, maybe a little bit more. In between that is when you would do Lyft and trying to stay in the general vicinity uh, of where the pickup station is, doing the best that you can. Obviously, there there's going to be um, you know there's going to be obstacles as far as not being able to tell where somebody's going to go unless you're a platinum lift driver but trying to stay in the general vicinity of uh, the pickup station so we go to flex and then we go to lift we give ourselves enough time to get back to the pickup station so uh, we are as like four o'clock approaches we start seeing that the 4.30, 5 o'clock, and 5.30 prices are starting are starting to surge. And if you hold out long enough, you will actually see those three-hour blocks in the evening start to jump. They're usually $54 standard. You start to see them jump up, you know, like 54, and then 60, and then 70, and then 75, and then 80, as it gets closer and closer and closer because now they have to get these packages out by, I think it's nine or 9.30. And you know that's their guarantee. It's a guaranteed two day delivery with Prime. So after you're done Lyft, so that's not, so it's Amazon, and then you go to Lyft, and then you go back to Amazon, 
and then when you get that other surge for Amazon, you go and deliver for, I mean, deliver, uh, drive for Lyft. So obviously trying to make sure the car is clean, all that good stuff. But uh, Lyft is really only, um, is really only lucrative and, uh, and beneficial in making money um, in the evenings. And that's in my experience. I don't know how it is in every area. But as far as even in the city, like doing it all day, not worth it. Not not worth it in one bit. <laughs> That's why it's nice to have Flex as an option. And I know there are a ton of delivery services um, out there. Uh, but it's cool. I, I don't really want to deliver food. That's just me. But um, And for the most part, the people that I get with Lyft are um, you know, extremely friendly and have been I'd say 99.8% of my lift rides, my passengers, uh, have been really, uh, really cool. Every once in a while, you get somebody who's not who just either doesn't want to talk or whatnot, but um, or you're picking up the people from the bars, which is always fun. So Amazon. So first thing is going to Amazon, waiting for surges. Because they happen all the time. They happen every day. Two, lift in, do lift after the Amazon Flex while trying to stay in the general vicinity uh, of the pickup station so that you can get back by latest uh, 5.30. You know, I would say latest 5 or 5.30 after you're done and getting that, um, getting that surge as well. And then... Um, so that's so Amazon Lyft back to Amazon and then do Lyft in the evening. So uh, yeah, because like I said, when it, as soon as it gets dark out, uh, that's when things start picking up. And obviously, especially when it's raining and so forth, or um, if there are events, it will be busier. Um, the biggest thing is um, you won't get those bonuses because since you are driving for Amazon, um, but the getting those surcharges and so forth with Amazon really um, kind of uh, it, it, it equalizes um, that bonus structure. So even though you might not be getting all the bonuses because you're not driving during prime time, which who the who the hell would want to drive during prime time? You know, around the city or around really congested areas. I don't whatsoever. So. If I'm by myself and I can cruise and take back roads and so forth for Amazon, then, you know, all for it. But I, I don't think anybody really likes sitting in standstill traffic. And that's what I, a lot of times, can run into uh, for the evening shifts. So once that's all uh, said and done, you know, take breaks as you need to and then just do lift in the evening. And I've just been doing that every other day. So the days switch up. Um because obviously there aren't uh, an even number of days in the week. So if I go, so I go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Sunday, and then now I'm going Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and then back to Monday, and it just keeps rotating like that. Uh, there are times um, all my days off that I will go out in the evening for the lift, just because. Um, you know why not? You know, what the hell else do I have to do? So I might as well make money and, uh, you know, save for my future and so forth. But that's just uh, a little tidbit from from me to you. So um, Amazon first. So first shift at Amazon, wait for a search, wait for a surge, do lift in between. You'll at least get a couple of rides. And then go back to Amazon, waiting for a surge giving yourself enough time and then once it's getting dark um, do lift and it's definitely a full day but um, it is definitely extremely lucrative as far as making money goes so and uh, yeah I mean if you are going to use your vehicle um, you know at least you at least you get to write everything off that, that's what's fantastic about it you know you're, you're, you're if you have a finance payment or whatever, gas mileage, all that good stuff. So, 
Um, yeah, hope you hope everybody enjoyed the video. Just hit the 10 minute mark, so I didn't want to make it too long, but that was really as simple as I wanted to put it. I'll say it one more time. Wait for a surge for Amazon Flex um, afternoon shift. Do lift in between, staying in the general vicinity, going back to Flex, yeah. three, going back to Flex, waiting for a surge, and then after that, finish out the evening with lift. So I typically try try to stop at midnight. There are times where I do go past that. So I will work, I will be out for at least 12 hours uh, every other day. So sometimes more, but with obviously little breaks in between. And if you've if you've been working with Amazon Flex, uh, depending on where you're delivering, uh, it is uh, it's it's super easy. I mean, it's a it's a fantastic way to make money. It's so it's so freaking easy. So that's all I have um, as far as using those um, those two services in conjunction with each other. So. And definitely get that sign-on bonus for Lyft because that's nice as well. And that's really all I have. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see everybody in the next one. Later.